Hello everyone, my name is Rumat and today I will present you the best Xerath summoner spells, runes and builds for mid and support. Here's a cheat sheet with all the information that I will present in the video right on your screen. And let's jump straight into summoner spells. Now when you're playing Xerath mid or support you generally want either teleport if the matchup is okay or it is not really okay. Or if you play support and mid and you're against a nasty matchup, you'd want barrier cleanse or exhaust. Even heal if you feel like you're about to play with your jungler and two, two, two versus two trades. But I'd rather have either barrier, exhaust or cleanse on mid lane, especially for beginners, because teleport is quite difficult to use for people that are at the beginning. And even for mid to, in, to intermediate players and quite close to advanced players, teleport is quite hard to use and understand. And so I recommend for you to pick either barrier, exhaust or cleanse on mid and support. Now cleanse you should generally pick when you're against a Zoe, when you're against an Ahri, a Syndra, a Vagar maybe, not a Vagar because you can keep the distance, but the rest of them, yeah. Exhaust you should probably pick against an annoying assassin that can actually close the gap on you, right? So I'm thinking long range dashes, I'm thinking Zed maybe, maybe Katarina for their ults and barrier you shouldn't generally pick because the enemy jungler wants to close the gap on you and want to start damage on you and wants to set you up for the enemy mid laner to kill you so you'd want this extra defensive spell on both support and mid lane even on support exhaust uh, even on yeah exhaust works so one of these two i believe you have to choose based on matchups i'd probably choose generally barrier if you're a beginner on support and barrier on mid i would pick them both really so let's jump straight into runes now for the main keystone the main keystone there aren't many options right so for both support and for mid lane you'd want arcane comet first there are no other options because the other options are quite weak, so if you think about what, what can we even consider? None of these, obviously. We can consider Electrocute, but ah, it's, nah, it's not that. It's kind of an annoying, because you can easily proc comment from a distance. We can't consider really anything from here, and here, maybe, nah, nah, still no. So the, the only option left is Face Rush, uh, sorry, Arcane Comet. You don't really want Eerie. Because Comet is basically a way stronger version than Eerie because you can proc it from far away and deals much more damage and you don't have shields. You don't really want Phase Rush either because you can proc Comet so easily. So we'd start with Comet and then we'd have a choice. Generally the choice is between Mana Flow Band and Nimbus Cloak. I'm saying a choice because Mana Flow Band on Xerath, it's really, really easy to proc because you have that Q, that W. If you start W at level 1 against some assassins, you can instantly proc Mana Flow Band and I can come at 1 instantly against some assassins that are melee range. It's impossible to miss. Now, if you play with Nimbus Cloak, when you, when you press the bat barrier or flash, either of those, you gain an immense movement speed that will help you escape. So if you feel that you're against matchups that are quite difficult, so you want to escape, you feel that you're in against what? Let's say a Gragas, let's say Gragas Z, Gragas Katarina, Gragas Diana, two champions that can close the gap on you. You might want Nimbus Cloak to actually run away when you use barrier or when you use exhaust or to flash and have that extra movement speed to get away. But in general matchups, against AP mages, maybe against the Victor, let's say, against the Zillion, something, you'd want probably Mana Flow Band because it's easy to stack, so let's just go for this. Then you have another three options, you'd want probably Transcendence here because it's generally best in slot. This is an amazing rune, as I said in the other video with Leah. this is an amazing rune and offers so much for what it uh, does. And on the last three, you either, you either go for Scorch or for Gathering Storm. Now you have to think, Xerath gets enabled mainly when his abilities mainly when he's level 9 really on or so, after 6 generally. So his skill potential gets enabled after level 6 and after Ludens, after your first major item after Ludens because you're gonna deal a lot more damage. So you'd want to think, do I need to kill people early on? And if the answer is yes, go for Scorch. If your team comp is oriented for early game, right? You may want to help them if you pick Zerat. So you have four early game champions. Let's just think. You maybe have, I don't know, something like a Draven that really wants to win bot. You maybe have something early on top, like a Pantheon that really wants to win top. You focus on helping them early, so you go for Scorch. Or if you think that the game is going to mid to late game regardless, you go for Gathering Storm. So let's think uh, Cassidy. But if you are against Cassidy, you might want Scorch, so you poke him more often. So you have to make this... Uh, 
pros and cons list so you can pick the best rule. I'm going for Scorch because I'm not really a fan of really late game scenarios in League of Legends. The meta is quite early right now and rarely games go over to 25, maybe only 40-30% of them. So I'd probably go for Scorch here. And now for secondary, let's see, you have multiple options. You can either go Inspiration, as we talked on Talia, you can go Domination or Precision, but mainly you want to go for Inspiration because there are so many good options here. And also we're going to talk about these three little things now. You go for Armor or Magic Resist based on what you're against and two Adaptive Force rules. And here, let's see, what options can we use? What combinations can you have? Well, I'm Augusta Z, you may go for perfect timing. Well, do I want free boots? Well, you can go for magical footwear. I've seen lots of people go for combinations like this. I've seen lots of people, so minion dematerializer for extra push, cosmic insight for cooldown reduction. I've seen lots of people go for biscuits instead of minion dematerializer. I've seen other people go for magical footwear and cosmic insight. Generally, I've seen cosmic insight picked because Anxerat is actually a quite strong thing, as you'd want to poke a lot, you'd want to spam spell a lot, I'd recommend Cosmic Insight. But if you feel like you're having maybe a tough lane, you can go for Biscuit Delivery uh, to have some extra sustain, or even you can go for Time Warp Tonic if you really feel that you're about to get for example for extra heals. But if you really feel that you're safe and you just want to play, uh, I don't know, you don't think there is a kill trait, you can go for those two, and you have so much scaling capability, so much cooldown reduction from these two runes. But this is just an option, you can go for minion dematerializer for faster push, or you can go to try other other spots, other runes, you can go either for domination for eyeball collection or maybe cheap shot, but I don't really recommend that, I'd go for eyeball collection probably, and either ultimate hunter or revenous hunter, but again, I don't really like these runes that much, or you can go on precision tree with either presence of mind and cup the grace or triumph and cup the grace, but generally on Xerath, inspiration tree is the one that you want, so I'm just going for, I'm not sure here, I maybe go for this too, right? So this is a sample built rune page for mid and for support, on support, the main difference really is not in the runes that much, it's not in the summoner spells, because you're going to go Barrier and Arcane Comet regardless, or Exhaust or Arcane Comet regardless. But the main difference is on the build, where you'd want first to get the AP support item instead of Ludens, which you are going on mid. So, and also on support you'd want to get Red Trinket, also on support you'd want to get lots of uh, actual lots of actual vision words, right? So let's talk a little about items very quick and I'm going to end the video. On support, uh, on mid, sorry, you'd want probably eventually to get far side alteration so that you can scale with your ult and cover the entire map when someone escapes. So that will going to be, that's going to be something. Uh, on, on, that's on mid. On support, you'd probably want to swap to Red Trinket if your team does not already have two Oracle Lens. If your team has at least one Oracle Lens, maybe you can get away with going for the Blue Trinket, but I'd recommend going for the Red Trinket to clear more words, because you're the support, you need to do that. Also, a lot of vision words on mid, or a lot of vision words on support, Mad, much more vision words on support than on mid, sorry. But then again, let's see some sample builds. I generally start on mid with Doran's Ring and two potions, and on support you'd want to start with this item, with this support item, right? And then after that, on uh, mid and bot, on both lanes you'd want to get eventually Ludens, because this is an extremely strong item, and this kite enables everything for you. And this is your first item, so you start Doran's Ring on mid to potions, you go for Lost Chapter as fast as you can, you go for Boots of Speed, you put in some vision words here, right? That's another thing that you gotta do. And then you finish Ludens and Sork Shoes. You can optionally on both, both uh, support and mid lane, you can optionally go for a Seeker's Arm Guard early on, so before the amplifying the Lost Chapter. Because in against, against Z matchups, against Fed Draven matchups, maybe you'd get away with more survival if you buy it. So that's another option right here. So I've let it here so that I can just drag it around. After you finish Sork Shoes and Ludens, you generally want to go for Orb because of the extra pen that it gives, or instantly Rabadon. After Orb, you go for either Rabadons or a Stopwatch, or somewhere in between. You need to make a combination of those because this burst gets enabled by these two items, right? Serat's burst gets enabled by Orb and Rabadons. Obviously, complete this into Morello if they have lots of heals, as I generally talk in all my videos. If they have Vladimir, Sona, Soraka, Yumi, Atrox, Conqueror users, lots of them get this rune. Or Volibear, I don't know. 
Um, get a stopwatch if you feel that you are focused a lot, get it faster if you feel that you die too often, but as a reserve player you should learn how to stay behind, how to space out the enemy in the lane. So you, you always keep an imaginary line right between point A and point B the opponent, point A being you, you always need to keep that distance so they can just safely Q them, W, M, and then just back off. The enemy jungler wants to close this imaginary line to catch you, to stop them from getting at you. So the main thing that you want is a defensive item if you feel that you die a lot, if you feel that it's going to be a difficult lane so they can close the gap on you or that you're about to get camped. So this is another option. So your first three items are going to be Ludens, Sork Shoes, Orb, and then you'd want Rabadons in an ideal scenario. So these are four items. You may want to complete Morello, so that's still four items. And then you go Zonias, and I'm going to put Zonias here. And then you'd probably want either one, two, three, four, five, either Void Staff or Leandris. I've seen players pick Leandris in matchups in when they're, the enemy has a tanky composition, so that you deal a lot more damage than with uh, simple non pan items but you can go void stuff faster than rabadons actually i've seen that already and as well if the enemies stack a lot of magic resist well then these items are probably more situational and better these three com items combination right but generally in most cases you'll probably want to go orb you want to go into rabadons into zonias perhaps and then finish it up maybe finish it up if you haven't used stopwatch finish it up with a voice up but if you did use stopwatch you should probably faster finish the uh, zonia so this this item is quite situational here based on needs you can also get landries as i said so this is the full build one two three four five six items based on needs you can upgrade this into a morello so let's just put it here obviously you'd want sometimes to get a a elixir of sorcery obviously you'd want to buy as many vision words as you can so this is fairly important switch to this trinket at around level 9 maybe at around level 10 after that however you feel on mid but do not be shy of buying red trinkets so lens also help because if your team has at least if if it doesn't have at least one or two of these you can buy it because uh, you kind of need to clear words, right? Someone needs to clear words in every elo. Someone needs to clear words, and you got you. you be, you're going to be that person, right? Because you're smarter than your team. You're smarter than your team. You're gonna clear words. And so this is the general Xerath runes builds and summoner spells video. I really hope you enjoyed it. The main build for support is quite the same as on mid. You'd probably want Zonia faster because on support you're going to get as, as much faster focused as on mid. So basically you're going to get more focus than on me, that's what I wanted to say. And probably, again, the build is going to be on support, support items, Sork Shoes, Ludens, uh, maybe Rabadons or Stopwatch, Stopwatch Rabadons, maybe Orb, Stopwatch Rabadons, somewhere there, and finish Zonia. And then lots of vision words, remember that. Clearing words of trinkets, so Oracle Lens. And that's the general guide, guys. I really hope you enjoyed it, and see you next time. I really hope you like this kind of videos. Goodbye.